back to another vlog here on the channel yes you can see we're crossing the channel the english channel yes we're going over to france because we're going to visit the first theme park of the 2022 season well technically the season hasn't actually started yet but the first um theme park of, of 2022 or first theme park of the year anyway uh, we're going over to Plopsaland de Pan uh, we'll be riding um, the ride to happiness for the very first time which opened last year which is the Mac extreme spinning coaster so it'll be the first time I've ever experienced it I'm on this trip with Martin and Charlotte they've gone for a snooze down in the in the lounge it's really early <laughs> It's that early, we ended up staying in Ashford last night at um, Hampton by Hilton, really nice, brand new hotel, uh, which wasn't that far away actually. I mean, you can see the White Cliffs of Dover just there behind me. So we stayed in Ashford last night, I was about an hour's drive from where we live, um, and then it was about, I don't know, half an hour to Dover from Ashford, something like that anyway. So we're in uh, Martin and Charlotte's car, um, yeah. To be honest, I wasn't too keen. I mean, I wanted to come a on this trip anyway, because um, there's nothing else to do. I mean, to be honest, last night I should have gone to the Camelot Rises preview night because I was invited to go. I wasn't invited. I, I asked for. <laughs> I emailed them to see if there was, you know, if they were doing anything, and they just said, "Yeah, come down to the preview night." which was last night so we're not going to that but if it's any good i'll end up going but anyway it's not about camelot rises it's about going on this trip and so far it's been okay um obviously we have to do like a pcr test a fit to fly um covid test which we did yesterday evening um all three of us are, are negative I, I mean i've been completely fine since all this started anyway um i've I've had a couple of colds in the past two years and that's about it so yeah we all had to do that and then we had to show the NHS COVID uh, double uh, like the fully vaccinated uh, certificate as well and something else I think we've got to do a passenger locator form as well we're literally just going over for the day and it's you've got to do all this stuff the PCR test alone costs 15 pound um it's just a it's just a nightmare isn't it like i know there's a lot of people that are, are really not willing to do all this covid stuff just to go and visit a couple of theme parks i mean fair enough yeah if you're going to florida or california or you know dubai or somewhere for a, a, a week or two weeks then fair enough but you're going over to france or well, to belgium for the day it's ridiculous so yeah anyway we're off to plop to land the pan today once we land in calais it's a 40 minute drive to Plopsaland de Pan and already on this ship it, which is very quiet I say ship it's a ferry in it there's, there's hardly anyone on here it's, it's just truck drivers um, from what I've seen and people walking around people going to Disneyland Paris and I saw a lad with a with a Helix t-shirt on so they may be going to Plopsaland de Pan other than that there's not many theme parks or even just parks open in Europe I mean there's there's only a few so yeah if you look for it there is places to visit so yeah we're on this really nice P&O ferry and we're not that far away from Calais look at that though I mean it's absolutely beautiful morning it is cold by the way I have put my jeans on as well <laughs> people that don't know I wear shorts pretty much throughout the year but it's cold today I think the highs it's got to be like nine degrees or something so yeah i'll just get you a bit more footage out here and then i'll go back inside i don't want to really film anything inside the ferry this there's not really much to show you really i uh, just got some toblerone chocolates from the duty free i've changed 40 pound and got 45 euros as well but yeah it's a um, really nice morning so uh, yeah join us for the day um i won't i'll probably get a bit of footage in the car um on our way there to the park um, obviously I'll show you a full day vlog but yeah I forgot to say as well after uh, Plops Land of Pan we're actually going to a fun fair in Calais uh, which we'll probably see when we when we get there in the ferry but uh, yeah join us for the day Plopsaland de Pan. 
we made it. Look who's here. Bruno oh, and Anita. That far, oh. it? Yeah, yeah. It, we were in the car for like, what, 30 minutes or something? I think, I think it said 31 minutes from the ferry. So, <laughs> ferry? Still, I said that weird, didn't I? Yeah, the ferry. Heidi, Heidi. So, yeah, Heidi the ride. Um, there's the ride to happiness just over there, and it looks amazing. So, it's a Mac Extreme spinning coaster. Have you done time traveler? No, we haven't done time traveler, but we've done the right. You've happiness. done it. Yeah. Is it the best coaster in Europe? No. No. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't listen to what other people say. Um, yeah, there's a there's been a lot of people that have been on it and said it's um, like the the best coaster in Europe. For me, already like just from watching POVs and things, I'm not into hang time. For people that don't know what hang time is, you're not really into like the lingo of the. Uh, you know, coaster enthusiasts, geeky algorithms and things. Hang time is when you're literally hanging upside down for a long period of time. The first element on this coaster, it's got five inversions, two launches. The first element is a heartline roll out of the station. So you're hanging upside down. I'm not into that at all. The rest of it will be completely fine, spinning, etc. like that. So, yeah. I, the theming looks amazing. It's um, based around Tomorrowland, which is a very famous Belgian music festival. I've never seen it, I've never been. It does look amazing though, from what I've seen. Plopsaland itself is gorgeous. If you've never been here, come and give it a visit. It's a very family orientated theme park. It's great. It's got some amazing rides. We already know a couple of the water rides are closed. Uh, the log flume, which I've still never been on. This is the third time at this park and I've never been on the, uh, the log flume. Apparently face masks are required as well. So I don't know, as of yet, we'll put one on just to go and get the ticket sorted, which hashtag gifted. So thanks for the park for providing us with tickets today. Um, the hotel looks amazing as well. Last time we was here, um, it was a construction site. There was actually a, a tower crane uh, just sat over there. So yeah, that's the brand new hotel there. It looks absolutely stunning, but really nice. It just looks like the Efteling Hotel, as it's, it's quite a small size, but there's all this here as well. But yeah, join us for the day while we visit Plopsaland de Pan and after here we won't be here all day by the way so after here we're driving back to Calais there's a fun fair in Calais but yeah regarding masks I'll let you know if we need to wear them all around the park or is it just on rides or what I don't really know as of yet ticket prices oh yeah we'll sort the well yeah but I'll have to get the tickets out Right, so that was a little bit of a faff because we didn't realise we had to show ID, so a passport. You've also got to show your proof of fully vaccination on your NHS app and then obviously show the tickets as well. So yeah, there's quite a bit of faffing around to uh, to, to come here. Uh, I was just saying to Charlotte, like after this now, I'm literally not that bothered about going anywhere else while this um, you know pandemic still going on because it's so much it's so much of a faff if I was single and actually lived on my own I probably wouldn't go anywhere because I'm useless at booking things and planning trips I just let everyone else do it because I'm I'm terrible unless it was going somewhere in the UK then going abroad on my own is, is a complete no-go to be honest I'm uh, I don't know how Sean does it and some of the other channels that got places on their own. I, I really don't know how they how they manage to do it all because it's so hard work and it's it's so stressful, especially for me anyway. But anyway, we're in the park. Um, apparently, Anubis Anubis is closed today, which I'm a bit gutted about. Which is the Gerslauer uh, launch coaster. It's one of my favourite Gerslauer coasters and Dino Splash is closed, which is the uh, log flume. You also still got markings and stuff down on the floor, so this is one direction here, 
One Direction there, pretty much the same setup as what they have at Mayerland, um, the Plops owned park we visited in Poland, which was amazing, really good park there. But yeah, Plops of parks are great. There's another one somewhere, Plops of Shoe or something, I think it's called. But yeah, hopefully some of the major big stuff will be quiet today. I mean, what we've seen of people coming into the park, it's mainly small, uh, small groups of young families really so we like young kids so like the extreme coaster I mean it's crazy how they've got this in here now it's it's amazing hide of the ride which is it was coming around now full train of people which is one of my favorite GCI wooden coasters in the in the world look at this though look at the theming absolutely amazing so yeah it's basically the first ride you come to the ride to happiness by Tomorrowland so like I said I've no idea what Tomorrowland is I know it's a, a music festival yeah Belgian music festival but I've never seen it I don't really know but yeah it looks awesome I love the color of the track it's got uh, two launches five inversions I don't even know if it's open yet Funny, funny, huh? funny. Too all day. Uh, all day? Yeah. <laughs> it better not be. We've come all this way to ride this. So, yeah, follow the uh, Facebook page, Coaster Crazy, and the Instagram account, Coaster Crazy Andy, for more pictures. Are we going for it then, or? Oh, it is closed, no. Oh, well, it's closed. Right, Heidi, it is then. Because <laughs> there's not much else for us to go on. Uh, there is five. Oh, is it five coasters? One, two, three, five, six. Yeah, six coasters here now. We've got a couple of junior coasters as well. Oh, it looks awesome. It looks really, really cool. It's going to be quite a nice day today. If it's a little bit cold, I mean, I've got my sleeve. I mean, I always have my sleeves rolled up on my jacket anyway. But yeah, it's got to be about nine degrees later. <laughs> Yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. The theme it looks well good. Got that tower behind, that's a, a super splash. So water ride. But yeah, this park is now open all year round. Um, it is only open Wednesdays and weekends um, throughout the winter time. But yeah, so if, you, if you, you're bored and you've got nothing to do in the UK while everything's closed, get yourselves over to Plopsaland de Pan. I think Eftelin's year round as well. Uh, Fantasia Land, I think it is still open for now, then it closes for about a month. And then obviously you've got Disneyland as well, uh, that's open year round. But that's about it, it's, it's crazy, you know, how little parks like this could stay open, but the bigger parts can't. So yeah, let's go over to uh, Hide of the Ride. This uh, theming is really good. However, it is a bit mismatched because you've got the dragon coaster the here, which is like medieval theming, as you can see by the castle. And then you've got uh, Dino Splash, which is the log flume over there, which is dinosaur themed. And then you've got Heidi the Ride over there, which is Swiss themed, which is really weird. But yeah, there's the uh, Mac powered coaster. Yeah, awesome. Looking forward to your day, Charlotte. I'm looking forward to Ride to Happiness. Yeah, when it opens. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm not a Mac fan, but... Um... No, I'm not, I'm not the biggest Heidi. Mac fan. Yeah, Heidi's awesome. I will call Mac or Heidi. Yeah. So, if you're unaware, there's three of these coasters in the world uh, now of this same layout. Um, basically, the first one that opened was White Lightning at fun spot in Orlando and then they built this which is a full wooden coaster a white lightning is a hybrid so it's steel support and wooden track and then we went to ride Wilkelat <laughs> at the Mayer Park in Poland which is a mirror image of this one so basically this comes out the station lift hill and then drops to the left 
Cobra as well, Cola. Same thing, up the, up the uh, lift over, but it then drops to the right. So it's a mirror, but yeah, they also got Pizza Hut Express here. So this must be new. Yeah, Pizza Hut Express. Yeah, the theming's really, really good here. And the other good thing is as well, you can film on the rides as long as your GoPro is secure. So a chest harness or a hand strap. Um, so yeah, you can film on rides here. I did email obviously to check, but yeah, you could, you could, do, you could even, uh, you can ride film on rides anyway. But yeah, the theming around here is great. There's Dino Splash. Can't believe I've been to this park three times and I've never been on the log flume. But yeah, Heidi the ride is awesome. I mean, which is the best of this this style GCI? I probably have to say this one to be honest. It's got the better theming out of the three of them that I've done now. But Will Kolak is amazing of Poland. So yeah, I think we've been pretty much straight to the station. So I got my uh, chest harness ready. <laughs> Here we go, first ride of the day on Hiding the Ride. This is an awesome GCI coaster. Excellent, what a ride. I mean, for me, that's that's just as good as Wicker Man at Alton Towers. And even got a really good indoor, indoor dark ride section. So yeah, it's running two trains as well. But yeah, very short ride, but very quick. And the trains are lovely designed. You've got all like this floral design on it with the flowers. There's the station through there. We got some goats down here and a dog and Heidi. See? It's got more than Wicker Man on. <laughs> there you go, I'll go around and do it again. It's pretty much walk on. What a ride, it's so good, it's super smooth as well. Obviously it gets better throughout the day when it warms up. So yeah, there's the state train going in there, back into the station, here's the other one being sent out right now. <laughs> the roller coaster comes there. What a ride, it's so good. Get yourself to Plotsa Land Japan, come and ride some of the best coasters in Europe. Because this is awesome, I, I really like it, it's such a good coaster. Yeah. Nice to see they've gritted the paths as well. And then yeah, pretty much straight down into the shop. Yeah, Heidi the ride is awesome. It's running a little bit slow in the cold, but you're bound to expect that. Wooden coasters always warm up throughout the day, so Hopefully we'll get a few more rides. Yeah, I've just done two rides back to back on there and I've been using my session. So yeah, I've got my well, GoPro session on my wrist strap so I can do face cam and all that sort of stuff. So there'll be a lot of POVs popping up from this park, even though I've already done them before. It's always nice to get new ones, especially with the Horizon Lock with the GoPro 9 and then just a lot of face cam with that. I, mean, I can leave that on all day, it doesn't really bother me. So I can hold me the other GoPro, but yeah, it's such a nice park. So you can see we've just walked from Heidi and we're now over to the next ride. 
which is the drag Le Dragon, which is the dragon. It's the little Max Powered Coast. I think you only get one lap on this now. But yeah, we still haven't seen um, Ride to Happiness open. Well, this again, like I was saying before about um, going to parks abroad and stuff now with all the stuff I mean like just wearing face masks I mean it, it's wet from my breath already so it's not pleasant to be wearing this all day thankfully I brought some spares with me yeah it's a, it's a really nice park it's really good for families it's it's really nice again if you've never been you gotta come and check it out I think pretty much it's pretty much walk on I think but the dispatch time on Heidi was amazing as soon as one's pulling into the station one's setting off yes yeah, walk on <laughs> behind me <laughs> oh god uh... yeah I used to get two laps on this I only get the one now just a couple of helixes and turns but it's nice to go over the log flume which is down there looks great Helix. That's it. <laughs> One lap special. Could have gone around twice. There's not even anyone in the station. Send it again. <laughs> One more time. One more time. Oh well. Yeah, the Dragon Coast. There was was all right it, it, it used to go around twice and it, it could have gone around twice because there was literally no one in the station you saw the pov there was about eight people in the station when we pulled in uh ride to happiness unfortunately is still not running yet so i really hope it does open today it looks amazing how it's built on this lake in the middle i'm i'm, I'm hoping it, it does open it looks amazing look at this banana roll here this is insane imagine going through that spinning and yeah, but you got a few kids rides around this section here. And uh, yeah, I've had to oh, I've had to turn my glasses off. They just they just keep steaming up all the time. But every time we look down, we mask guts up in my eye and I can't see anything. But yeah, we're going on roller skating next. Which has been rethemed again. Um they used to be well, it's still got like the giant all the giant stuff. Well, yeah, I don't really know. I think it's just roller theme to roller skates now. Um, it's basically a Vekoma roller skater model. And um, it's the same as Rhino Coaster, what you can be found at West Midland Safari Park. It's, it's the same model as that. And uh, <laughs> there's, two, there's two of these in uh, Energylandia. I think they're slightly different layout, but it's basically the same coaster. But, yeah, look how quiet it is about 15 people in that queue line last time i came here i had to wait about an hour we also got a train that goes around as well so if we've got enough time we might do that we can't like i said we can't stay too long because we've got this fair to do and then the ferry back is about half eight so yeah that used to be themed to like a giant washing machine i have no idea what it's meant to be now a tv i think or a hi-fi or something like that but yeah, they could have done with Perry painting the track because that's looking a bit dirty now.
you uh, show you only get one lap now, eh? You should get two laps on this. Yeah, well, you'd have twice the queue. Yeah, well, you will uh, get twice the queue, yeah. But there we go, that was Roller Skater. Yeah, Roller Skater is it alright. It's a nice, smooth family coaster. We're now walking around to um, the ride to uh, Happiness because it, it's currently testing. Just doing some rollbacks at the moment. So we don't really know uh, what the crack is with it really. <laughs> don't know if it's too cold for it. I mean, it's only four degrees, so don't know if it has to be at, like a certain temperature. But oh man, it looks amazing. Look at this banana roll here. It's so cool. Vertical loop, zero G rolls. To be honest, I don't really know what the inversions are on it. Heartline rolls, one of them. Look at this section here, as it goes straight up like a vertical top hat thing there and then it sort of cuts around the corner and then drop there it looks awesome so yeah i'm gonna stop you for a second and get some pictures because uh that's quite a good spot just here It's hardly making it around, so I don't know if they've got to speed the uh, the launch up or wait until they've got a full load of people on it. I do not know. But yeah, that's just gone in the second section of the ride now. But look at it around here. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, I love coasters that are over the water. Maybe apart from Infusion at Blackpool, but yeah, get rid of Infusion, get one of these in there. Wow. Nice, so there's the main square here. You can just see the hotel at the back. Could probably go over a bit closer to it in a bit. We've got the uh, indoor section here with just a few kids' rides. Really good theme. And I think that one's, uh, I think it's Mayerland inside there. Basically, what that park that we went to in Poland is, is fully themed around Mayerland. That's just got the indoor section just here. Uh, we'll walk around to do the only dark ride at the park again it, the next investment here it's got to be a, a modern dark ride hasn't it really it's a, it's a boat ride this one in the dark really cute uh, got some nice little animatronics and things uh, we have obviously seen ride to happiness testing but we don't think we'll be getting on it just yet but saying that it's park's been open over an hour now uh, like I said, the Anubis is closed, Super Splash is closed, the Log Flume's closed. We can get on the uh, Junior Coasters uh, and a Dark Ride, and that's about it. I mean, it's a great part, but it's got, it, it hasn't really got a massive amount of rides that can uh, you can last you a full day out. I mean, yeah, if you've got kids, there's obviously the kids' rides and things like that as well. But as you can see, it's so quiet <laughs> today. I mean, uh, have you guys drove from Germany to come here? Yes, we can. So we how long did it take to drive from where from, you live? From, from our hometown, three hours. Across three hours, about, and you yeah. live near Fantasieland? Correct, yeah. We yeah. live near the, the border between Belgium the, and the Netherlands. They're so lucky. They live in probably <laughs> one of the most dense areas in Europe for, for, for theme parks. So they're really lucky. I mean, they're actually coming over to the UK very soon. <laughs> Just to visit like 20 fun fairs, Valentine's yes, fun fairs. Yes, Bruno has uh, made the plans and uh, I think <laughs> what, we, we have no sleep. And, is and it the weekend? You're coming for the weekend? It's just the weekend. Wow. Correct. I mean, that's dedication for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they live in Germany and they're coming over in February for a weekend to do 20 fun fairs. So <laughs> it's crazy that. I mean, I'll probably do a couple. But yeah, Boss Van Plop, which is a cute little dark ride. So take you on board this one. But yeah, it's so quiet here today. I'm guessing this, yeah, I think it might be busy in here. This is where everyone's at. Yeah, I think there's a huge queue for this. You could be waiting. It's quite a long queue. Yeah, I know, whoa. Yeah. I think it could be about half an hour. 
I really need to peep around that corner to judge how long it's it is. It's quite a long queue. Yeah, we'll come back to it. Alright, so we've just come into the main gift shop. Um, because they do choco melt, well, like a sort of choco melt. It's basically um, like a, a milkshake, like a really nice cold drink uh, that that have over here in uh, Europe. But yeah, uh, they've got the uh, right um, Tomorrowland uh, Ride of Happiness merch over here. It's um, I have seen vlogs from here, and it's what really expensive. What are you looking at, Tish? 40 pound for a t-shirt oh yeah yeah the hood they've gone up 90 90 euros 90 90 oh my god 90 oh well that one's 74.99 the pink one yeah but that looks like bad quality looks it yeah look at that 90 euros for a hoodie that is ridiculous wow oh uh, your favorite yeah, get it, Charlotte. That'll oh, suit you. Like like that. Yeah, get yourself a nurse, a new, a, new, a new purse. It's a makeup bag, that. Oh, is it? Um, caps are pretty cool. But again, like I said, I don't really know what the Tomorrowland brand is. I know it's a festival, but I'm not into festivals. To be honest, I'm 43 this year, and I've never been to a festival. Not, a, not a proper music ready, festival, now. anyway. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. What, for your wedding? Festival. For wedding. This is what you wear at in Glastonbury, they wear these as well. Ah. Well, yeah, they've got merch, but it's not, you know, they've got you the... You haven't even told your fingers, have you? I was going to mention if it was all right ah. to say it, yeah, but yeah, there you go. Martin and Charlotte got engaged on the Caledonian Sleeper. Yes. I think I did mention, yeah, I did mention it, didn't I? I can't remember. Yeah, I mentioned it when I went to that fair in um, at Lakeside, which I did say we it was a blue you. water. No, I mentioned it on a ride and ah. said you got engaged on a... Cal Caledonian, Caledonian sleeper, sleeper. yes. Yeah, so comment. Martin got dead excited and oh. got dead nervous, oh. and he didn't know what to say. So comment down below. Congratulations to Martin and Charlotte. And then we'll get married in Las Vegas. Uh, yeah, with me and Lisa, because yes. we we ain't we ain't having a proper wedding if we get married. She keeps pestering me. When are we getting married? I'm like, I can't afford a wedding. <laughs> but we got a we got a Vegas. Get some credit. Well. I don't think there is any creds in Vegas, but yeah, we've got, we've got to Vegas instead, get married in Vegas, uh, where it's nice and warm and we could do some theme parks on the way. We'll go to California, we'll do like a two week thing. People always want Sean and Charlotte had done, do a two week thing over there, got to Vegas for a week and then a week in California, because it's amazing, but yeah. Oh, come to a park, and stand and wait for rides. Yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, there's a massive queue for it. I mean, I don't know whether it's going to open up or not, but there's a huge queue for it. It's it's, huge, it's, it's like Well, there was no one here a minute ago, that's right. what I'm saying. There's no one here before. Are we stuck for time? Not really, I mean, there's not much else to go on, to be honest, is there? The train, Starfly, is the Starfly open? I haven't seen that going it's either. The front entrance, only Anubis. And Dino Splash. But the Starfly's not gone round, the Super Splash is closed. Is that Mac, by the way? What? The, the Super Starfly. Splash. The, the Super Splash. Like, it's fun time. What? The Starfly's fun time. The Super Splash. The Starfly's fun time. This has been awkward Super now. Super Splash is, yeah, it's an Atlantic it, Super Splash. It is Mac, yeah, I thought it was. But yeah, there's literally nothing going on, is there? There's guys up there with high vizies on. I mean, the theme looks amazing for it. It really does look good. Oh. Eh? All round immersive theme in mind with the like ambient music and stuff. Station looks nice. Like. Yeah. Didn't put proper glass windows. Right? Yeah, that would have been cool, wouldn't it? Right, here we go, nearly uh, nearly an hour later. <laughs> it's opened, it's tested numerous times. Oh, the music. And I tell you what, I bet it's brilliant around here at night time with the lights, with the test seat just down there. 
Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. So far, I'm not picking that up at all. Oh, any camera up in there? Welcome it's to the ride right to the face. Only for the brave. Oh man, name it. It's gorgeous in here. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit daft though. They should put a gate in there, knowing people will step over the rope. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. Coaster Crazy Andy. Yeah, really good theming in here. I'm, I'm not sure if it's as good as um, Fly or Taron or Tal Talon. But it's really smart though. It sort of reminds me of um, something something Toverland would build. We got like all the uh, loud music. So there we go. Stopping now. All right, here we go. Stepping into the station for the first time. It's a free for all station, which means you can pick any row you want. Obviously, I want to try and get them to the front. Magical people of tomorrow. Yeah. The yeah. rest of your fleet. Go away. Oh, you don't want the front? No, we're going to do it next time. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll go on the front first. I'm not sure if I want to go, go, uh, go backwards. <laughs> first time. Yeah, it looks amazing in here. Beautiful station, really nice. Let's unite and feel the yeah, so power it's a of nature. Extreme spinning coaster, if you don't know. It's basically, it's like Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, but the whole train so it spins around, all the seats spin. Icon is getting one spinning seat at the back, but it's not like one of these. It's basically a seat bolted to the floor. Here we go. You get the hang time out of the station. Just down there. Oh my god. And then into the lawn. Oh, super cool. Right, here we go. First time on Ride to Happiness. I'm not looking forward to this hang time. Oh! I don't like hang time. Oh man. Oh. Yeah, I was got a film in my uh, hand strap. Apparently, they're not allowed on this attraction. Now, here we go. Oh! Woo! Oh! Woo! Oh, listen to the music. Awesome. 
Is it the best coaster in Europe? No. <laughs> no, nowhere near. Not for me anyway. Yeah, it's a cool coaster, it's nice and smooth. The spinning, yeah, it's quite intense. I could go around a few times, but yeah, it's nowhere near the best coaster in Europe. Not a chance. Well, yeah, it's really unique though, really cool theming. Yeah, that was awesome. All right, so there you go, our first ride on a ride to happiness. Just, oh, sorry, just bear with me a second. I'll get you off the, uh, the chest harness. Just bear with me a second. Going again? Yeah, we'll go again. Like? It was all right. <laughs> it was all right. Yeah. Um, really cool with the music. Yeah, the music's awesome on there. I hope you, you, you can hear to it. The Festival no, music. never. Really good. So. I mean, they're meant to dance music and stuff like that. So. Listen to some of the tracks because it's really that. Yeah. That song was the onboard audio. Yeah. Well, really my, one of my biggest influences, uh, well, like in music, is uh, Jean Michel Jarre. Um, he's a French composer that does like just synth music is is world famous so the music on it's amazing but the actual ride it's it's all right it's, it's yeah it, it's a fun coaster um i mean yeah i know people have been out here and said it's the uh, it's a it's a it's one of the best it's one of the best coasters in europe i've got a bit of a rattle yeah not a chance <laughs> It's, it, it's not, uh, it's not as good as like Tarun or even Fly, Fly was so re-rideable and yeah after a while I did feel a bit sick on Fly but the theming on Fly, the whole area and everything about it is, is it's better than this obviously. Good coaster though, really really good. Did you hurt your head? No I didn't hurt my head, I'll get these guys reviews but what is... rumble loads and it really hurt the back of my head. So you said it was a bit rough when you hit your head? No I didn't hit it, it, it hit hurt it. my head. It oh. really ba like it bounced slow. Oh really? Yeah. Oh I don't know. Then. But it was really good, I really like yeah, it. Yeah good coaster, well, the music, in the mu No, <laughs> the music made it. Yeah. I think if you rode it without music it wouldn't be as good. Yeah. My favourite coasters in Europe are uh, Tarun. 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 Goliath, um, Goliath, yeah. Lost Gravity, Lost Gravity. Expedition G. Do you know what? Lost Gravity. Do you know what? This... Lost Gravity, yeah. Lost Gravity, yeah. No, I wasn't kidding. I love on that Lost either. Gravity. See, I'm not a massive. I'm not a massive oh, Mac oh, fan. These, these, these two aren't either. Uh, I mean, I like Icon, Helix, that sort of thing. But these these people here might agree with me, but. I think Heidi the ride is more re-rideable than this and we've only done this once so again what you what you watch on um, YouTube don't don't go off what other people have said <laughs> don't go off what I say because <laughs> you might yeah Red Force is cool <laughs> uh, but you know you, you might come out here and, and you and you might think what Shem it's rubbish <laughs> you might enjoy it now yeah. um, <laughs> I don't fit on it. <laughs> um, yeah, so you might come out here and you might really enjoy this ride. I mean, I like, like I just said, I like Matt Coasters. The seats are so comfortable, really, really comfortable. Um, I'll see what it's like after a second ride, but yeah, it's nowhere near one of the best coasters in Europe. Not a chance, even with this amazing theming. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, you walk through that bottom bit there, there's a bit of a garden to walk around there. This section here, and then up the stairs and into the station. Um, but, yeah, we'll give it another go, get you another POV without the horizon all this time. So hopefully it's not, it's not too flippy for you. <laughs> but yeah, just bear in mind, hand straps are not allowed on this ride. Yeah, you might have seen it on other channels. That's why I had mine with me today. But yeah, the woman in the station's like, it's, it's too extreme, you're not allowed, because there was a guy in front of me with a, uh, with like an Insta360 camera on his wrist and he had to take it off and so did I. But I'll get you another POV and I'll let you know what it's like after our second go on the ride to happiness here at Plops London Pan.
so intense. Wow. The ride to happiness by Tomorrowland. Uh, I've done it twice now and uh, probably won't be doing it for towards the end of the day anyway. <laughs> it's, it's quite intense, especially on the back. Um, is it one of the best coasters in Europe? No, not, not by a long way. Definitely not for me anyway. I've never been the biggest fan of spinning coasters anyway, to be honest. Um, with five inversions and two launches as well, especially on the back, it's really intense. My feet were starting to tingle like I would do on an extreme flat ride. It's absolutely beautiful though, like the music as it comes out of the station into that really slow heart line roll into the first launch. I mean, some of the inversions are great and having the interaction, seeing your friends spinning around on the other side was great. Um, but yeah, it's it's not for me. I mean, yeah, the the theming's incredible. They look. It's just I don't like spinning coasters that much, well, and it's a bit spin, intense. Yeah, it's, it's it's no, it's a but it's still coaster. an intense coaster. So, what do you think, Martin? It's good. I like it. Yeah. That's about it. No, I really like it. it. <laughs> not the best coaster in yeah, Europe, though. Yeah, it's like I said. If you take away the music, I don't think it would be as good. Um, it's quite bumpy. Well, the second ride we had wasn't that bumpy, but no. the first one was really bumpy. Yeah, no, I think the second good. ride was smoother, yeah, it's good, definitely. better than Helix, I would say. But yeah. I don't really rate Helix. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it's better Hel than Icon, but I don't really rate Icon. Yeah, yeah. We're, you're not the biggest fan of the Mac coasters. I mean, it looks beautiful Something going I around. I like Lost Gravity, Alpine, yeah. and now this. There's a lot of people have raved about this coaster, and for me, I just don't think it's as good as what people have been saying. I mean, yeah, if you like spinning coasters, fair enough, it might be the, the best coaster you've ever been on. And it's really fun. It's really, really, really fun, but I do feel a bit nauseous now. I need something to eat, so we'll get something to eat. We'll do some more of the park. We we do have to leave at about three o'clock. So it's about two and a half hours from now, isn't it? Yeah. About two and a half hours, we need something to eat. And there's still, some of the part we haven't seen yes we have been before we'll walk around now. yeah we have been before and we have filmed various vlogs showing you what else is here at this park the main draw was to come and ride uh the ride to happiness and because there's well, there's nothing else to do is there? everything else is closed so yeah fair enough we've come we've done it we've done two rides on it i'm quite happy with the two rides on it to be honest like um charlotte oh oh fancy pictures i get bruno and anita's um opinion on it bruno what do you think to uh, the ride to happiness i'll just get you uh, behind the sun i have there. to say uh, oh. I, I i like uh i like uh it's a unique design in europe yeah we do not have anything comparable uh it's it is not my favorite ride in europe uh, let's say it I this think, way to be honest i think that's my favorite ride in the park or anubis yeah yeah i would agree uh I, my favorite uh, ride in the park is heidi heidi um ride to happiness is unique yeah it is a bit shaky um yeah it's very pretty to look at though isn't it it is and it's, it's a, beautiful yeah. design the whole whole area is really beautiful yeah and to be honest the car the cars don't spin that much really no. No, it's um, true. but yeah it's yeah, still when you sat on the launch you're moving like that all of a sudden it whips the other way before you launch yeah Control, yeah. What do you think, Anita, to uh, the ride of happiness? I, I like ride to yeah. happiness, but uh, yeah. Is it the best ride in Europe? It though? is not the best ride in Europe. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we are honest, though. Yeah. You know, we haven't come here just to, you know, to slight the ride. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of spinning coasters. I knew it wouldn't be a favourite coaster of mine, and it's not everyone's cup of tea. But yeah, there is, 
better coasters out there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Some of the best seaming I've ever seen for a coaster. Yes, uh, and the actual, you know, the ground it's on and the lake and everything, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, for me, the, the music is, is very good. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, gives the, 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 the old the, audio. Yeah. And, um, yeah. It is special. Yeah. Yeah, it's a special <laughs> ride. Charlotte, what do you think? I like it, me, and I'm not a fan of mat coasters. No, but I like travel wind. Travel, yeah, travel, yeah, travel wind's pretty cool. If you don't know what that is, that's like tornado, storm chaser, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, yeah. At Polton's Park. Yeah. I know, like the um, is it Spider Man? Yeah. As well. The uh, AMG. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spider Man like as well. The music makes it much better because I like the music from the Tomorrowland Festival. Yeah, which yeah. Is really I need to look into it. But yeah, you other like than that, it. it's like yeah, it. it's a good coaster. Just not, I'm not massively over keen with it. Uh, I mean, it looks great for the park. The theming's amazing. It will look beautiful at night with all the lights. But yeah, I'm starving now. We need to get something to eat and see a bit more of the park. To be a little bit warmer than the UK. All right, so this is what I've got for lunch. Um, it's actually a um, volavant so the things that your mum makes for uh, christmas the little pastry things with stuff in it that's what i've got with a little basket of fries and um a coke zero and it came to about 20 euros or something it is expensive yeah it's not the it's not the cheapest place but it looks really nice i mean again it's not like the biggest thing yeah, oh look at that! Wow. It's huge. Oh look at the pasta dish. <laughs> and what's that? Oh, oh man, oh, oh, I should have. Oh, I've got the wrong thing, haven't I? <laughs> oh my god. You were like, I want volleyball. Oh, I, I want volleyball. I should have gone with the pasta. Look at that. Yeah, that looks really good. That uh, I've got a bit of hair there. Hang my lens. That uh, that meal was amazing. What was your meal like, Martin? Well good. Well good. Well good. One Spag of the best. Spag Spag bolognese, Spag yeah. Ball, I really would good. say that was one of the best theme park meals I've ever had. That was, uh, yeah, um, what did I have? A, vol a volavon. It was, yeah, chicken and mushroom. What kind of volavon we had in the UK? No, it was basically, a pie? A, a, yeah, a cheese and onion, not cheese and onion, sorry, chicken and mushroom pie with fries. I've just had my first ever. Belgian waffle as well, believe it or not. I had one of those with marshmallows on it. Mine's having one as well. And good news, Anubis is going around it. It's been going around just before we had something to eat as well. There we are, it's just going around now. Uh, but we're gonna have to be quick because it's it's 20 to 2 now. Uh, like I said, we've got to leave at 3 o'clock because we're going to this fair in Calais and we haven't even done half of the park yet. <laughs> So um, yeah, I wanted, we wanted to do the dark ride. Bruno and Anita's never been on the dark ride before, the little Von Lamp plot. And there's like a children's area, there's a farm area. You've got like the area at the back, with, like the little Viking themed area with an amazingly themed Zamperla disco. And there's a, a Max Splash Battle, pretty much the same as at Mayland in Poland. Uh, and then obviously Anubis, another ride on Heidi, and then maybe another ride on the uh, Ride to Happiness. But it's a really nice park here, brand new addition to uh, the park with the coaster and the hotel as well. Seriously, come over here, come and make a weekend of this place because it's amazing. And you've got other parks not that far away. Belwadi, uh, which we visited a couple of years ago, that's not far away, that's also in Belgium. You also got Wallaby, Belgium which I would love to go and visit. I've never been to Wallaby, Belgium. It's actually Bruno and Eaters, one of their favorite parks. And um, they've just opened up Conda, which is another massive intermittent coaster. So there's a lot around this area. So uh, yeah, stay tuned, because I'll be definitely be going to some of the other parks. It's not really that enthusiastic at the moment, especially with all the uh, restrictions and wearing these and you know, it's, I've had enough of this now. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh yes, yeah, through here. I thought you got to it that way. Yeah, Anubis this way. So Martin's just got one as well. What did you get, Martin? Same as me. Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Yeah, there's also like a little donut shop there. They do sandwiches and things. But yeah, the food offering here is pretty good. 
just don't go to that burger place because <laughs> everyone moans about the burger place still nice food but yep. it's expensive for what you get it's like restaurant price <laughs> yeah. like 15, 15 euros for a tiny burger the world's smallest drink oh no that that, that burger place was really cheap oh was it yeah, yeah. Oh. when we went it was really cheap We've got the train here. I don't think I've ever been on the train before, although I can't remember. Super Splash is open as well. Yeah, yeah. So I what we, open. yeah. So what we reckon is a lot of the rides open up during the afternoon, yeah. which is not that great for us because we've only got an hour and a half to go on. We don't right, have to few be more rides. On bang on three. No, but it will be better because it's forty uh, half an hour drive to Calais, and there's some. Here's some so it's another French funfair. I've only ever done one, which was the Far de Tron. But yeah, go and queue up for uh, Anubis now, which is a Gerslauer launch coaster. And they've stopped making these, unfortunately. And they're really good. Yeah, so there's your Max Super Splash. Really cool. This goes up in a lift there and then turns around and then comes down this one drop. Uh, so that's open now. I still haven't seen the Starflyer going around though, that's at the back. Might be just a bit too cold for that, it's a fun time model as well. And Anubis is just around this corner, so I'm not sure what the wait times are like. But the first time we came here, it was a uh, walk-on and they allowed us to stay on the train and go around again. It was that quiet. But no, we've had a really good day here today. Uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to sound negative, especially we've got gifted tickets. But yeah, I, I, I'm not that. Yeah, I'm not overly that massively keen on the rides' happiness. But you might come out here and you might enjoy it. You might like spinning coasters. I'm just not a massive fan of them. I, I preferred Heidi. You know, Heidi for me is a perfect little ride. It's a brilliant wooden coaster. And Anubis is pretty awesome as well. Look at the uh, theme to it. So again, if you don't know about the uh, the names of the rides and the theme here, it's all based around Studio 100, which is like a comic book series they've got here. So yeah. <laughs> all right, cattle pen. But here they go, the launch on this thing is amazing. It's just a shame you can't get to it. We can't see it. There you go. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, right, let's go and have a look. I know for a fact that uh, in September when Sean and Charlotte came, they were waiting outside, uh, what, a queue line outside for COVID reasons. Uh, they were coming through this side door, so they were all queuing up outside. See where the markers are on the floor. Yeah, so it's basically, um, it's like a Gerslau Euro fire, but it's six six people. <laughs> um, so like in the lines of two, uh, three rows of two people. Oh, it sounds a lot of people, isn't it? Oh, uh, it's not too bad. It's basically up the stairs and the station's up here somewhere. It's not too bad. It's <laughs> Wiedersehen. Right, here we go on Anubis, one of the best launch coasters in the world. This is wicked. Wait for this. Here we go. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Oh, it's so good! It's super smooth! Oh, yeah! Woo! Oh! Oh, my food's coming back up! Oh, wow, it's brilliant! I love this ride, it's so good! Oh, final version coming up! Hotline roll, here we go! <laughs> oh, it's awesome! 
Yeah, so for me, you can tell by the way I'm speaking, yeah, I, th I think that's better than um, the right to happiness. <laughs> I just think it's brilliant, it's such a fun little coaster. I absolutely adore this coaster, it's so good. We're actually, as you can see, we're queuing up to go around again for a second time. Um, I'm just timing it, I mean, we've only waited a minute so far and we're just up into the station just here. This train is, uh, this, sorry, this ride is running three trains on it in February and some most parks in the well, in the UK aren't even open. I mean, it just shows you, if it's, if it's not too cold, get the park open, get people in, give them something to do when it, in, in the winter time. Everything is at this park is pretty much open now, but this is an amazing, fun coaster. If you like launch coasters, you are going to love this ride. It's so much fun. That launch is one of the best in the world for, for, for like snappiness, the way it's so short, and you come out the station into the little roll, and then you pull straight into it. It's brilliant. And then up and over into that airtime hill, it, it's great, isn't it, Charlotte? I think we all love the new sit on, we? If you sit on your hands or put your hands in your pocket and you have loads of airtime, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think we all love this one, don't we? Martin likes it. It's Gerslauer, isn't it? So I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. You're the one that said, let's go around again and do it again. Because that launch is well good. It is, it's brilliant. Um, Anything Gerslauer, like Smiler. This, yeah, Smiler. <laughs> but they're, they're all pretty good now, aren't they? Like Gold Rush. Uh, oh, yeah, that's like really Karen good. I like good. that, yeah. Uh, well, you haven't been on it yet, but Hang Time in Osprey Farm is amazing. I'll get on it one day. Yeah. Some of the, no Euro <laughs> Some of the Euro fighters aren't amazing, like saw the ride at Thor. You see, I used to like Saw, but it just yeah. gets worse and worse every Thor. year. Uh, but Hansa Park's got a great Gerslauer coaster. Cannon. Cannon, that's an infinity as well. But yeah, uh, this one, they don't make it. Anymore. Haven't you done another one of these? Launch. Yes. Yeah, it wasn't launched though. Which one is it? Is it Karaka? Uh, no, it... it's in Six Flags. Oh, oh Daredevil Dive. Oh, Daredevil Dive. What's what's the one? What's the one at Trip Trail? Trip Trail? Yeah. Cat -ho. Cat -ho. An yeah. Infinity Coaster. Oh, is it an Infinity? But well, we've done the same version the of this without the launch. Lynette. 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 Yeah, that's Lynette. It, yeah. They've done that. Oh, Lynette. Have you done Lynette? Yes, we is have. Is it good? It is good. It's one of these, isn't it? Yeah, it has the same cast, but uh, this one uh, here, the launch is much more intense. Oh, is it really? Yeah. <laughs> it's not as good as Lynette, apparently. Yeah, yeah, oh, no, this one's better. This, this one's better. Yeah, yeah, this one's better. Yeah, this one's the same as this with a lift hill. Right, a lift hill, yeah. But yeah, so these are great. Yeah, these are great, though. Right, do another one without Horizon all this time. <laughs> Send it round two on the awesome Anubis. I'm not a loser. This is better than right to happiness. Here we go again. Woo! Oh! Eto! smooth as well brilliant ah! <laughs> oh I think I'm all riding out to be honest oh there you go that was awesome come and ride Anubis <laughs> yeah the visit to this park alone is worth it just for this ride it's so good Right, so around this section you've got uh, Wiki Land, it's just got a couple of rides in it. Obviously it's got this really, really good uh, Zamperla Disco, one of the best themed flat rides in the world in my opinion. We've got the same one at Mayerland in Poland, but we, we, we didn't do that one. Uh, they've also got the Splash Battle, which we did do at Mayerland, and I've not done at this park, but it's too cold for Splash Battles. But the disco looks amazing, it's so well themed. I wish 
that uh, Poulton's in the future could do something like this with the Edge, which is their uh, uh, Zampella uh, Disco, which is the same, it's the same layout, it's just got the hump in the middle. It's so cool, but like this fake grass on the side and that, it's brilliant, little waterfalls, the guy sitting on it. Well, yeah, other than that, there's the, the splash battle over there and that's about it really. Notice quite a few of the um, outlets have been closed, but yeah, um, the only things that's not open today is Victor's Race, which is a small uh, uh, Tivoli coaster on the Starfly. You can just see, no, there, there. I'm applying to it, it's there somewhere. Uh, there, there. In the middle. It's there, it's that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's there. It's there anyway. But yeah, we'll go around to probably see if we can get on the uh, the dark ride and then back round to Ride of Happiness and maybe um, Hide of the Ride. Which way are we walking, Martin? Oh, I don't know, probably go back round. Back round that one. Yeah, we were sort of round there earlier, weren't we? Yeah, we'll, we'll, I don't know about the dark ride and we might give it a miss, I don't know, but yeah, you go around past the castle i mean it's a really nice castle here it's a really nice yeah it's a really nice park isn't it mine it, it is a great park and i'm just only 40 minutes 40 from minutes calais. from calais so yeah in total um so yeah i finished work yesterday at four o'clock and then i drove to their house which is 20 minutes away then we got in Myers' car and then we drove to Ashford which took what an hour? An hour to Ashford. Stayed the night in Ashford and then it was 30 minutes to Dover. An hour. We could have done it in a day. Yeah. We just thought, might as well. Yeah, hotel. Yeah, it was a cheap hotel because discounts and all. Um, then it was 90 minutes on the ferry on the, uh, and, then, and then 40 minutes to here. So, like, the time to drive to Blackpool you could come here so again i know there's a lot of people that would probably wouldn't bother coming to europe there's a lot of people scared about driving over here as well you find it's, there's nothing to be worried about you know if you want to come and get on some new rides some new coasters you've got to get out there and you've got to come and experience something new you know keep going to the same parks all the time it's you can get a bit boring but yeah it's uh it's a really nice park here uh, and then moving forward in the future i don't know what they could go for i'm i'm guessing like a a new dark ride or some something but i don't see them getting anything major for another good few years now this uh this castle wouldn't look out of place at a disney park it's amazing i think it's just a restaurant inside here we've got a teacup ride over there and you've got like these lovely planted gardens obviously they're not that good at the moment because it's winter but in the summertime there the plants and the bushes have, have, have you know grow out it looks really good but yeah it's just a, it's just a restaurant really but it looks amazing i mean you wouldn't think we was in the same park it's it's crazy really any other part that would have been a, a dark ride in there but yeah i think that's probably the way forward for them now uh, you know, a trackless dark ride or some sort of interactive dark ride or something like that would go really well. They've got loads of water rides here, there's a log flume, uh, there's a super splash, there's the dark ride here, there is a boat ride. Um, there's a little Mac, one of those little Mac boat rides as well. So, like, you don't really need any more boat rides, some water rides. Uh, but yeah, here's the Star Flyer. Uh, fun time. But yeah, I think I've done that. I'm not sure. But that's been closed all day. It's probably too windy for it. There is staff in there. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's closed. Uh, oh, there's more waffle place and churros here. We've also got Victor's Race here. This is the uh, Zero Tivoli coaster. Pretty much the same as uh, treetops at Oakwood, that sort of thing. And then you're back around to where uh, Roller Skater is. So it's not the biggest park in the world. We've pretty much seen everything other than the children's area, which is like the circus area, and then the farm as well. But that's about it, really. But this park, um, it's definitely worth the visit just for Heidi 
and uh, Anubis alone because they're fantastic coasters. I love both of those. I could sit on both of those all day, probably Heidi more. But yeah, the ride to happiness. It's a great coaster. It's just not for me. It, it really isn't. And the theming is really cool. I quite like the music and stuff on it. It's just yeah, it's just not for me. It's coming out of the station now. But yeah, Enzo coming to Blackpool Pleasure Beach uh, soon. Um, obviously, that's going to have one back seat spinning at the back. So let's we'll see how it goes with that. But I think I much prefer the standard Mac coaster with forward facing seats. Right, we're now back over towards Heidi the Ride, which is awesome. I think it's probably my favourite coaster at the park, which is really sad to say. But yeah, I do like my wooden coasters, especially little GCIs. Just notice as well, there's a guy over there, he's painting the trough for the log flume, and it looks really good for uh, what he's done. Ah! Ah! What? <laughs> Yeah, it looks really good what it's done, but no, we've had a good time a good time today at this park. I'd like to go and visit the other Plopster parks, and it would be good the, um, if the Plopster group actually opened up one of the parks in in the UK as well. Is it a big queue? Huh? This is it. Are you joking? No. Oh. You shouldn't take that long. It's not walk on anyway. I don't get my camera out in time. Yeah, there's a Mercedes with some characters sat on it. But yeah, we're actually going over to uh, the Von Pan Plop. The, well, the dark, the little dark ride, just to see what it's like. If it's too busy, we're probably going to make a move because we're going to Calais for this fair. Hopefully, I've got another battery with um, 
more battery in it basically because uh, I've just done a POV I won't bother uploading it just done a POV on the ride to happiness and my battery died halfway around one of the older ones I've actually got a brand new endurance battery which gives more um, life percentage in cold temperatures um, I'm actually I'll put that back in the camera because it's still working uh, with my other batteries it's on 23% and it just turned itself off I've got another one in the car, another battery in the car, so hopefully... Oh, I think there's a massive queue. Hopefully I've got a full charge with another battery, because otherwise I'm not filming this... Um, I'm not filming this fair tonight. Well, I don't really know what's going on here, is it? Um, oh, it's not too bad. I just trying to find out how to get to it. Oh, right. Is it this way? It's not too bad, it's just in here really I think earlier yeah I think earlier this whole I think this whole uh, queue line was full up but yeah a little dark ride and then uh, and then that's it I think So that's it, we're, uh, we're actually leaving the park now. I just wanted to say that you've got the mayor land inside with the bees. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh. <laughs> Bee costumes. <laughs> so yeah, you've got mayor land as well, an indoor area. It is basically for kids. It's just got a load of kids rides. They have got a pepper pig meet and greet on at the moment as well. That's why. There's a pepper pig up there. <laughs> if he was wondering about that. But yeah, we've had an awesome day today. It's been really good. It is really cold now. I can't wait to put my big coat on. But the hotel at the back looks really nice. So yeah, brand new hotel. We'll try and stay there in the future. I, I don't really know. But um, yeah. We, we were going to try and start staying in uh, official accommodation. Yeah. Just to try it. It's just so expensive though, isn't it? Yeah. If you include your park tickets, yeah. take that off the value of it. Yeah, you definitely. Pay a premium for the convenience. And yeah. Why not? It's what yeah. we do. Had a good day, Martin. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, the day is still young. Best ride of the day. Favorite ride of the day. Anubis. Anubis. <laughs> You've got no idea. Uh, Heidi for me. I don't know. It's Heidi or Anubis. Yeah. Uh, the ride of happiness is good. Uh, yeah, we have parking, we've got to pay, that's the other thing, pay for parking, it's over here. Tickets to parking, so we've got to pay for parking as well here, so it's not included. But yeah, Ride to Happiness is a good coaster. Is it the best in Europe? No, not not at all, not even not even close. Uh, but there's a whole package, it's brilliant, the theming's great, the onboard audio. The way it looks, the way it rides, uh, I'm just not a massive fan of spinning coasters. Uh, so it gets a, you know, it, it's alright, but... I, Anubis and Heidi the Ride, yeah, I am paying. Do you want my card? Yeah. Does it take phone? Oh, card. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Just pay, how much is it? How much is it anyway? 50. 12, Euro 12 50. euros 50? Yeah, uh, expensive. Aye. Uh, right, so we have got the ticket. Yes, it was 12 euros 50. So it, it's all right, I suppose. Um, not every park has to have included with the parking. Same but it's worth it, yes. I'm going to get them in the vlog. It was nice to see Bruno and Anita again. <laughs> nice to see you. It's, yeah, hello. Hello. Hi. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Favourite ride of the day? 
Uh, for me, it was Heidi. Heidi, yeah. Ah, uh, the dark ride we just done, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I think uh, ride to happiness last row. Yeah, back row on yeah, ride to yeah. happiness. But yeah, nice to see you guys. Nice All to right. see you. And we'll see them in in the UK very yep. soon yeah. when they visit. Not 20 fun fairs, but about 12 <laughs> in a weekend. That's crazy. Not even the UK. Uh, fair enthusiasts do that but that's it we're going now we're off to calais to a fair he's you finish your vlog we might get there before yeah it he's yawning she's yawning and i'm really tired as well but there you go nice yeah. to see you guys bye bye. uh get a big thank you for the complimentary tickets i hope you've enjoyed the vlog today martin's knocking people over <laughs> him there <laughs> Um, yeah, right time, it's, it's alright, but I much prefer Heidi and Anubis. It's a really good park, if you've got nothing to do over winter, come and check this place out, it's really cool. On that note, I'll see you in the next vlog, which should be from this fair in Calais. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell for next time we'll load another video. I'll see you in the next one, bye for now.